Hey everybody, Chris Eggleston here with GravityRanger.com and in today's tutorial we're going to be talking about conditional payments. And very specifically, we're going to be talking about how do you set up a conditional form, um, conditional payment form that allows the user to select credit card for payment or a cash slash check option. Okay, now obviously you can't collect the check or cash um, via your web form, but you do have the ability to um, give them that option and then you can work out arrangements of how you're going to collect payment uh, that cash or check from them whether you're gonna send them an email an email with a mailing address or they're gonna pay cash at the event when they get there before they can enter whatever the arrangements you configure that's what you can do now um, this is a this 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 is this specific um, setup is is heavily requested and primarily because gravity forms users miss one important element when setting this up and we're gonna i'll make sure i point that out when we go through this tutorial this is going to be a start from finish from creating the form to making it work i'm not going to be demonstrating how to set up stripe we do have a tutorial at gravityranger.com video tutorial that walks you through that uh, but gravity forms also has on their doc site very doc very well documented step-by-step -step process to do that So we're not going to cover that here. So let's go ahead and jump in We're going to set up a conditional form that allows you to accept a cash Check or a credit card payment via your online form. All right So the first thing we need to do is create our form So I'm going to start with a blank form. I'm going to call this um Here, conditional payment test. Now, you can put as many fields as you want in here. Again, if this is some type of registration process for an event or a webinar or whatever the case is, you can collect as much information as you want. For demonstration purposes, I'm keeping this very simple. Um, so what I want in my form is a name, an email, and then I'm going to need a choice-based field. And this choice based field is what we're going to use to give the user the ability to select um, how they want to pay, whether they want to pay cash slash check or if they want to pay credit card. Okay. Now, I don't recommend using a checkbox because the checkbox, you can technically select both options, and that's not ideal in this setup. You want to give the user a choice based field that allows them to make one selection. So, my personal choice is radio button but you could also use a drop down for example so I'm going to add the radio button I'm going to call this um, how would you like to pay and my choices are going to be cash check or oh, credit card Okay, now ideally you would make this a required field for demonstration purposes. I'm not doing that, um, but this you would want to make this required field in order for the user to be able to properly use your field. Okay, because if they left that blank, then they'd either never have a, a credit card payment option or um, you'd get lots of emails. I can't submit your form. Okay, so you'd want that to be required. Now, the next field I'm going to add is a product field. And again, for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to keep this simple. I'm going to call this uh, demo fees. If you want to send me a demo fee, you can do that by going to gravityranger.com. Um, we'll make it $100 for demonstration purposes. Um, again, you don't need to mark a product field required because there's no action on this. It's automatically applied. It's going to happen. So um a single a single uh single product field anyway if it was a choice based product field then yeah you'd want to make it required to make sure the user makes a, a proper selection um so on this field we will need to add conditional logic no i'm sorry not the product field nope sorry forget i said that uh the next field we need to add is our stripe field okay um, so now that we have our stripe field, stripe field in the form, we do need to add conditional logic to this form. So I'm going to click on the stripe feet field and go to conditional logic. I'm going to enable this and I'm going to show this field if the following matches. How would you like to pay? 
is credit card. Okay. Now you'll notice here you can't actually see the card field uh, like you may have experienced in the past or with other forms that you built. And that's just because I don't have a Stripe feed configured yet. Okay. So in order to show the field, I have to configure the feed. Now, pro tip, um, if you haven't saved the form yet, if you click on Stripe feed right here, this is going to leave the editor and take you to create a Stripe feed. When you do that, this card field will be removed from the form because you didn't save it. So when you get to the, the feed settings, what will happen there is it'll tell you that you need to add a, a Stripe card field to the form before you can create a feed. So you're going to go through this loop. So make sure you save the form before you go and create your Stripe feed. Okay. Again, this is an email I've seen several times. Now, now that that's set up, we can go to settings and then Stripe. And now we can add our Stripe feed. I'm going to keep this name for demo purposes. Um, as far as transaction type, you can do this with a product service type feed or with a subscription feed. It doesn't matter. Uh, for demonstration purposes, again, I'm using the simplest method, which is product and service. But this is going to be set up exactly the same, even if it's a subscription, okay? So as far as payment amount goes, I could select demo fees, which is the actual product, or form total, okay? Same result. I only have one product. If I had multiple products and I was setting up different feeds for different products, I'd want to select the product. In this case, form total. Um, I'm going to map the name field to the full name. I'm not going to do anything with metadata in this purpose in this demonstration again. Very simple form, so I don't have anything to map. I'm not going to enable the Stripe receipt because with the with the Stripe developer or I'm sorry, Stripe test account. Uh, it won't send the receipt, so there's no way for me to show that to you. I'm going to go ahead and save my settings. All right, and now this is the important step that everybody misses when they try to set this up and they end up reaching out for help. Um, they forget to enable conditional logic for the Stripe feed. Now, why do we have to enable conditional logic for the Stripe feed? If somebody selects, um, if somebody selects cash or check, we've already configured the form. Let's look at this. We've already configured the form so that if somebody selects cash or check, the Stripe field does not display. It's only going to display when somebody selects credit card. Okay, so we have, we've we already configured that in the previous step. So what that means is if we do not add the conditional logic to the Stripe feed, even though somebody is selecting cash or check, and the credit card field is not being displayed. If we tried to submit this form, let's just do it. If we try to submit this form, we'll get an error. Well, I don't know about those errors. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, see, we get this error. Normally, you wouldn't have all this going on. I don't know what that's about. Um, you'll get this error that says you can't submit the form, okay? So now the reason for that is even though the credit card field isn't present, the Stripe add-on doesn't know that they need that it needs to ignore this feed. So it's still going to try and process this feed when the form is submitted, which is what creates the error, okay? So what we have to do is enable the conditional logic to tell the Stripe add-on, hey, only process this feed if all the following match. How would you like to pay is credit card. So once we have that, we'll save the form. Okay, and then we can preview it again. Same thing, we still don't have the card filled. But now if I select this, fingers crossed, Again, I don't know what all that other mumble jumble is about. If I do this, the form should submit without an issue because Stripe knows or the Stripe add-on knows no credit card field. We are paying cash or check, so I'm ignoring the Stripe feed not being processed.
okay and same thing would apply if we came in here and select credit card now the stripe add-on knows okay now i need to process the stripe fee so now it will process the feed okay so that's conditional logic no nope, that's conditional payments uh, with stripe and again this this you could apply this to any of the payment add-ons it could be you could do it with authorized.net you can do it with square you can do it with paypal uh, it doesn't matter they all can do this you just again they all support conditional logic the feed level and the field level so you can do this with all payment add-ons they all work the same the magic for this scenario is the conditional law enabling the conditional logic on the payment feed okay that's the part everybody misses so now you have a conditional payments form that will allow you to give the user the option to pay by credit card right now online or to pay by cash check with whatever arrangements you make with your process okay so hopefully that was beneficial uh, hopefully I went slow enough for you on that demonstration um, I did get some comments that I was too fast and people couldn't follow along with me. Um, and so hopefully too, you're able, if it is a little bit fast, you're able to pause it and, and kind of go through it step by step. You can also over, go over to gravityranger.com. We will have this uh, written out in a step by step uh, tutorial as well um, that you can follow. That way, if, if it's easier for you, um, then follow along the video. But again, the reason I'm doing this is because this is a um, big request, uh, an issue a lot of people run into. Um, they want to give the user the option to pay by cash or by check or some other non-online method. Um, but whenever they set it up, they skip that one critical element of enabling conditional logic on the payment feed. All right, so hopefully this is helpful. Um, if you have questions, as always, never hesitate to reach out drop them in the comments wherever you're watching uh, this video whether it's on YouTube or over at gravityranger.com uh, we're happy to help any way we can um, we also have a live chat over gravityranger.com you can use when you have issues we're happy to, to do what we can there um, but again until next time uh, be safe have fun and go build something awesome